Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we're doing a highly requested video which is a hair tutorial and guys like I've said so many times I'm not very good with hair I just kind of wing it but I know it's very helpful to see how people do their hair especially if you have similar haircuts or whatever it may be. So I was like let me just film this for you guys today and my dog won't leave me alone so Harvey is here for our little intro and then we're gonna put him down and he's probably gonna bug me the whole time but he's here such a cute little boy i know he's not really feeling that good so i feel like he wants a lot of attention but if you're interested to see which tools i use and how i style my hair just keep on watching all right so this is what my hair looks like when i just hop out of the shower and let it air dry um i didn't use a blow dryer or anything or else normally it's a little bit straighter but totally manageable to work with so i'm going to show you guys the tools that i'm going to be using before i hop into this so this is my straightener it's a solia straightener and it's just got this like i don't know plates where they're on it I have it set to 325 and then I also have a curling wand sometimes I use it sometimes I don't but I like to have it here if I'm in the mood to use two different tools um it's like a pretty thick barrel probably like a is that like a one inch maybe and then I've got my favorite um hair oil which is the surface bezu hair oil I am obsessed with this stuff it is so so good pretty much it's like very micro like molecules that absorb into your hair really quickly as opposed to other oils that are always like I don't know just doing the most and then i've got this oligo dry texture spray i love this stuff really good for making your hair look voluminous or whatever and then i just have one of my claw clips that i got from shein so sometimes i section my hair other times i don't today i feel like i'm not really feeling it um so i'm not going to section my hair i'm just going to kind of show you guys how i do it so just grab a piece of hair like this and i'm going to go in with my straightener and sometimes i do this in like from the bottom, you you guys will kind of see like the different ways that I hold my straightener. I'm gonna like kind of bring it down and then it does that. That's pretty much what the curl looks like. And then I'll just keep grabbing sections and doing a little bit different things. So I'm gonna use my, my wand because I'm in the mood to use different tools and just get different vibes here. Um, honestly, I really wish that hair was my strong suit, but I've always found that Hair is always sort of where I've struggled. I've never really found that it's like been something I'm extremely confident with. So I'm just out here, you know, learning every single day, just like all of you guys. But I know it's helpful if people share their tips. So sometimes I go from um, the bottom, but other times I go like this and I'll drag downwards. Um, but when I get to the bottom, I always do it kind of quick because I don't like the bottom to be too curly, like a bit more of a straighter kind of vibe or whatever. Sorry guys, I use the word vibe so much, but it just sort of makes sense, so. And now we're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna go from the bottom and then pull down like that. And you kind of get a curl that looks like that. Um, I honestly feel like my hair looks different every single time I do it, so a lot of these things I might switch up. But yeah, just kind of switching off with the curling wand and the straightener. A lot of times I just use a straightener, but I've recently started doing it with both. And realizing the different um, dimension it gives my hair is a little bit better. So when I'm in the mood to use two tools, that's exactly what I do. So yeah, we're just going to keep swapping out and uh, do this whole side. And then we'll move on to the other side. Honestly, sectioning your hair would definitely be easier. Because um, I, I don't have like thick hair, but I have a lot of hair. Like a lot of thinner hair. So I'm always like having to make sure that there's not pieces sticking out when I do it like this and make sure that it's not like I'm missing a bunch of it. Um, so that's the one thing with not sectioning your hair is it's less work. It's like quicker, but at the same time, it's also not if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to keep going around. Obviously, we're going to pull these these curls apart um afterwards so we don't have to worry about that they won't look like this when they're done um i just like them to completely cool off before i run my fingers through it just so that they'll like have hold for a few days i always touch up my hair like in the mornings and stuff but um i genuinely like don't wash my hair very often um i like to go honestly if it's up to me i'd go like 10 days which you technically can do. I saw a girl on TikTok saying that she went like, I don't know, a ridiculous amount of days without washing her hair. And she was like a 
like I don't know she was like really good with hair like a specialist or something and um she had the most stunning gorgeous long hair and she said she like hardly ever washes it so I'm trying to get even better at it and see if I can go longer than seven days eventually with that but yeah sorry I just got a phone call so I was a little bit distracted there I was like, I'm not picking that up. Leave me a voicemail. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to talk about in this video. But uh, that's what we're doing. So now we're just moving on to this side of the um, face. Kind of doing the same thing. Um, switching out whenever we feel like it using different the two different tools I like grabbing hair from underneath as well not too big sections I kind of do that size as much as possible and yeah just sort of leave out part of the bottom I don't wrap it all the way around if I wanted to use a wand and do it like completely curly to the end I would have to be wearing a glove because I would burn myself but since straight ends is so important with having a bob like straight ends is a must with a short haircut otherwise it just looks like your name should be barb and you're from the 80s or something it's just something about having hair with with straight ends that makes a really big difference honestly i've said this before and my goal is to always my inspiration actually for cutting my hair short um was chloe kardashian's um blonde very blunt haircut that she had um I don't think she still has it but she did when I cut my hair and I always wanted to figure out how to curl my hair the way that hers looks but obviously she's got like a specialist and stylist that do her hair so it's kind of hard to, to figure it out um because it's not like she does a tutorial or something on how her hair is achieved so but I mean it is what it is. This is my way of doing my hair, and I'm going to just keep doing it. Oops, just burped. I'm just going to keep doing it. So we're getting closer to the front pieces now. So as you guys can see, like, it's not taking very long to do my hair. Um, it's not a very long process. Obviously, there's some pieces be like in the back that are going to be still be straight, but I'm going to get those. Um, it's just sort of hard to do it all on camera. My dog is trying to get on my lap right now. So then we've got that. And then for this front piece, I just straightened out the root because I let my hair air dry instead of straight um, blow drying it. Just like that. Still looks crazy curly. And now I just like to sort of do some of the back pieces. Harvey, I cannot hold you right now, sweetie. I can't. Where would I possibly put you right now? On the table? I can't do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here's another piece back here that I'm going to grab. I feel like filming my hair is always so awkward because this cord is always across my face because I'm sitting down and normally I'm standing. I should have done this in my bathroom standing, but the lighting is really trash in there. So I didn't want to do that. All right. So then when it's pretty much like all curly, um, what I do is just grab my, my fingers and just go through my hair like this. Just not too harsh, but try to be thorough. And I use my nails to sort of like bring it through everywhere. Just drag through my hair, drag, drag, just like that. And then I like to do it in the back as well. Sometimes I don't do it enough and then I'm like, why does my hair look so curly throughout the day? It's because I don't like, you know, comb through it enough. So I'm not even done now. So then I, I will grab my straightener and I will go over the ends. And I know that this is like double heating your hair but I feel like I can't get my ends to be completely like as straight as I want them. And then I just like sort of go over areas that I find are a bit too curly. Um, and I thought the big thing with 
making sure that it's not too curly I'm saying I thought I know that this has helped me is making sure that your iron isn't so hot so I used to have it a much higher than I do now and just kind of do what everyone does and just like crank it for maximum like so it doesn't take so long Harvey stop it um but ever since I started doing 325 it has been easier to do my hair um because um, obviously it's going to curl faster if you have it on a really high heat so try to um put on a lower heat and it'll definitely help so then when i've kind of got more of the straight like end look that i'm looking for um then i kind of am done you can go over it many times or whatever you want to do so at this point i will just grab my um texture spray and i will just spray this generously in my hair like as much as you want my hair is very clean I don't like my hair the first day I always find it's very flat I prefer it on like day three probably when I start liking my hair and then if you want you can put some of this oil at the ends of your hair uh, I'm probably going to start doing it on the days like throughout the week but today I'm not going to put the oil in because um I'm trying to keep my hair as light and clean as possible but guys that's how I do my hair. It's nothing crazy. It's very easy to do. I don't use a lot of different tools and they're very user-friendly tools. Like I don't use one of those clamp curling irons because I don't know how to most of the, for the most part. But if there's parts that are just a little bit too curly, I just sort of go over it a little bit. But that's the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This is how I do my hair every single day. Um, yeah, if you have any questions for me down below, just comment stuff if you want to know anything more about my hair routine. All of my hair products, like for how I wash my hair and take care of it, is from Finola. I'll have that link for you guys along with everything that I can find that I was talking about will be linked for you guys. But anyway, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.